Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop board game bag check. I am Mo Tuzano of the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question we are answering is, what's in the box? Because what I have here is something brand new and shiny and just announced. The Alpha. This is a board game from Bicycle. Bicycle, yes, the card company, the company that makes decks of playing cards, that's what they're known for, has decided to come up and get into the board game market with a series of light strategy games. You can kind of see it says light strategy game by Bicycle. There are two of these. I am currently unboxing the Alpha. And after this, I'm going to be unboxing the Exchange. So if you are here live, feel free to stick around. So I'm going to take a quick look at this. So again, I am Mo Tuzano of the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find me all over the internet as Tabletop Bellhop, one word, all over social media, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, uh, Twitch, Instagram, everywhere, Tabletop Bellhop, one word. Also head over to TabletopBellhop.com, our main website, where we've got all kinds of cool gaming stuff, including unboxings, actual plays, and answers to your gaming questions. If you've got a gaming or game night question, feel free to send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. So what I'm going to do quick is I'm going to give you an overview on the back. So the alpha, stock, send your wolves to hunt in various regions of the forest and outnumber rival packs to become dominant in the area. Chase, roll the dice to determine the success of the hunt. Resolve, enter conflict and decide whether, decide whether to fight or share with other packs in the area and advance. Move your wolf on the food track to indicate the amount of prey secured. What looks interesting, and I haven't opened this up yet, I've never seen this game inside, it doesn't look like any cards from Bicycle. So what it does have, so this is a trend in modern games, Ravensburger started this, this game does not come shrink wrap. When you buy it, this is exactly what it looks like. And what there are is um, tape. So I'm just going to cut the tape, and then we'll tip the camera down so you can better see what I'm seeing. So two pieces of tape on here. There we go, nice, easy to cut. We're going to throw this down here. We are going to tip things down because you don't need to see my face. And we are going to take a look at what you get in the Alpha. So again, nice artwork. I dig it. There's um, like a gloss coating on the wolves. I'm trying to see if it, there. You can kind of see it there. And the words, the Alpha. We've got the instructions. Looks nice and clear. Nice big text. I appreciate that myself. A list of the components is always good to see. Couple examples. Quite a wall of text here. What I might do at the end of the video is take a look. So it doesn't look too hard. We are looking at eight pages to the end of the rule. So that's not too light. Eight pages is not a super light game. We got some punch boards. Yeah, elk and caribou. Scavenge. Livestock. Hare, fish, and beaver. Oh, what I should do, sorry, let me grab this, is flip it over. Oh, there's different stuff. Oh, carrion. Interesting. Definitely looking to be uh, more educational. What's interesting is they're different sizes. Like, if you look, the, the livestock is larger than the beaver, and while well, the bison and the moose are rather huge. Our work's really nice. That's not photography. That's someone painted that. A uh, bunch of tokens that say fight. Something that says alpha, something that says deer, and then share on the other side. My guess that's going to be a betting thing where you're going to decide if you want to fight over or share. We've got the board. That is a nice quality board, to be honest. All right, I'm going to hold it out this way because it's a nice long one. It's nice and thick. It's mounted. You can tell it's been it's a, a mounted style board. Single sided. I will admit that's going to take a bit of bending to get flat. It's, it wants to crease a bit, but that should be fine, right? Just do a little bit of this. There we go. See, nice and flat. Not bad. You've got deep forest, near forest. You kind of see a bunch of different things. Obviously injured and healing, probably for the different animals. Weeks left up here. Looks interesting. There's a number track going up to 30. I don't know if this is something special where the five is different than the others. Then we have, i got to admit, I'm impressed by this, a, a nice plastic box insert. So, no actual cards. So, Bicycle, the card company, has put out a board game without cards in it. That is unpredictable. I, I did not expect that. So, this looks like it should be resealable, but I am having, there we go, a hard time getting to it. So, we have the Den. All right, these are all the same. So, this has got to be, I'm going to guess, the game plays up to six players. And we have six dens. And wow, 
That is thick. I would expect a piece like this to just be a thin piece of card for just a little rule summary. It's got a conflict result table. That's impressively thick, I gotta say. That could have easily just been a thin piece of paper or a card from the card company. Put that back in the resealable bag. I highly doubt I'll keep it in that bag. Then we got wolves, little wolf meeple in non-wolfy colors. Looks like they're all the same, so I'm just gonna grab a handful of these. Kinda let you see the little wolves. We'll try to stand one up on my hand here. There we go. And see little wolves. Wolf meeple, weeple, weeple, I don't know. Wolfle? Wolf meeple, whole bunch of wolf meeple. Uh, silica pack in there, and I pointed this out before. Pro tip, don't throw these out. If you live anywhere where it gets damp where your games are, keep these in your game boxes. They will uh, help protect you from moisture. Whole ton of wolves. There's another baggie in here with, um, is that a howling wolf head? I am not seeing what that is. Oh, it's two wolves. Two wolves howling. Two wolf howling tokens, again, in the, in the player colors. Maybe a dark color wasn't the best color to grab for the camera. My guess is this can go on some kind of scoring track or something, but who knows? I have not played this game. Two wolves howling. Then we've got some dice that are not, definitely not, just these sixes. Like, they're six-sided, but those are not standard dice. So these appear to be in player color, so it looks like everyone's going to have their own die. So, wow, I have no idea. D? 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 12? 3? And... X. Oh no, they're all different, so I have no idea. So then we have C, 3, 4, X, 4, 4, 4. So 4, 4, 3 times an X and a C, 3. I, wow. I had 7, 8, 8, C, 5, C, 5. And an X. Three, two, three, three threes, a two, and two X's. Two, 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 all twos, and an X. Wow, talk about unique dice. If you're a game designer, you might want to pick this up just to do something funky with these dice. C11, C11, X, 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 20. 15. X, 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 C, 9, 12. C, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 6, X. Sorry, 6, 6, 5, 5, X, and C, 4. And finally, 8, 9, 7, 7, 8, 9, X, X, and C, 7. What a unique set of dice. I like the colors. They're really nice colored dice. These are nice solid dice. They got a, a nice weight to them. Plastic dice. And that's it. So Bicycle, the board, the, the card game company, has produced a board game with no cards in it. Which I think is unique as it stands. Uh, this comes with a nice box insert. Production quality is top notch. These player boards are th way thicker than they need to be, which is not a complaint. A really nice long board. Mounted board, which is a bonus. And some punch boards to put out and somewhere to put them. With fantastic animal art on it. So keep watching uh, tabletopbellhop.com, my social media. I'll see if I can get some plays in with this game. Uh, unfortunately, it does play three players only, uh, three or more players, three to six players. And with three to six players and the quarantine going on right now, getting a three-player game is going to be interesting. So I'm going to have to see if my oldest daughter is interested in playing the alpha. She might dig the theme of wolves and whatever. Um, there we have it, the alpha. From Bicycle. I'm still shocked. Bicycle Games getting into the hobby game market. And not putting out a card game. Like, that's the most shocking. Like, I, I, if they had put out, I don't know, some board game version of Spades or Hearts or Poker, it would have made sense to me. So there you go. You have the Alpha. I guess it looks good. Fantastic production quality. Um, says it's ten, ages 10 plus. 3 to 6 players. 45 minute gameplay. Rules are 7 pages. That's not that light. Like, a, when I was expecting a light strategy page game, I was expecting, like, a one-page, really simple, push-your-luck type of game. And this looks better than that. 
So again, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. Make sure you hit follow, subscribe, like, all that nice stuff that us content creators love to see on our social feeds. You can also head over to table or patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop and consider tipping your bellhop. That would be great, really appreciated. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on. Mm-hmm.